Good morning and welcome to today's class. Today's class is a continuation of our previous classes on indices. In today's class, we shall be looking at product of indices. At the previous class, we looked at the addictive law and the subtractive law of indices. In today's class, we shall be looking at the product law. That when raising an expression having a power to another power, we are asked to keep the base and multiply their powers. For example, when you are asked to simplify 3 raised to the power of 5 all cubed, you know that this can be simplified as 3 raised to the power of 5 times 3 raised to the power of 5 times 3 raised to the power of 5. And if you apply the addictive law, which we did at the previous class, you agree with me that this will be equal to 3 raised to the power of 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is equal to 3 raised to the power of 15. But the product law says, keep the base constant and multiply the parts, which is still equivalent with breaking it down into addictive law. So 3 raised to the power of 5, or cubed, is equal to, keep the base constant, and then multiply the part, which is 5 times 3, which is equal to 3 raised to the power of 15. So this is what we refer to as the product law. So therefore, hence, I say, when you have x raised to the power of a or raised to the power of b, it is said to be equal to x raised to the power of a times b, which is ab. So this is what we refer to as the product law. Let's take more examples. In this example, we are asked to simplify the following. A says B cube or raised to the power of 4. Remember what the product law says. You keep the base and then multiply the powers. So this is said to be equal to B raised to the power of 3 times 4, which is equal to B to power 12. As simple as that. B is equal to 3m squared all cubed. Now, this cube is affecting every term in this bracket. So that means we are going to cube every term in a bracket. So this can be said to be 3 cube times m squared cube. So this can be simplified further to be equal to 3 cube is 27. Why you apply law of indices to this, which is equal to m raised to the power of 2 times 3. And 2 times 3 is said to be what? 6. So your answer is 27 m cube. Take note, the cube affects 3 as well as m squared. C. Minus a squared m all to the power 4. So you apply the same law. Cube, um, multiply the powers of every term by 4. So this is going to be minus a squared times 4. M raised to the power of 1 times 4. When you see a variable that has no power, have it at the back of your mind that its power is 1. So this is said to be equal to when you are multiplying the power of a term by um, an even number and that term is negative, the sign automatically changes to positive and I'll show you why. This can be said to be minus a squared times minus a squared 
times minus a squared times minus a squared. That's for minus a squared to the power 4 alone. Now, when you multiply the powers, the signs, minus times minus becomes plus. Plus times minus gives you minus, and minus times minus returns a plus. So this becomes positive. So this is said to be a raised to the power of, multiplying the powers, this becomes 8 m raised to the power 4 as your answer. D minus 3 into bracket d e cube or raised to the power 4. Now in this case, the power 4 is not going to affect minus 3 because minus 3 is out of the bracket. So this power 4 affects only what is in the bracket. So this is going to be equal to minus 3 into d raised to the power 4, e raised to the power 3 times 4. This is equal to minus 3 d raised to the power 4, e to the power 12. So you have to understand that. Note, this power 4 does not affect what is outside of the bracket. E minus j raised to the power 4 all to the power 5. This is equal to the um, the 5 is not going to affect the negative. So this becomes minus j raised to the power 4 times 5 which is equal to minus j to the power 20. That brings us to the end of today's class. In today's class, we have been able to look at the product of indices. And in the product of indices, we said when raising an expression having a power to another power, you keep the base and multiply their powers. Thank you for being attentive in today's class. Please, we advise you to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to do that, while you use the comment section to interact with us, as well as like and share to your friends so that they can be able to follow us in our classes. Thank you and do have a nice day. See you in our next class.